my fellow Dream Chasers, Kenzie Retro here. I've got Dan with me once again. I've got the Marvel Get Up on, and that means only one thing. It's the season finale of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Uh, ignore the DIY uh, bandage on my uh, finger. Uh, ig ignore that. Uh, I don't, uh, I'll say, but hey, um, self-sufficiency, just um, making use of what I've got. Just a uh, bit of kitchen roll, bit of sticky tape, and boom, good to go. So, like I say, Season finale of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Yes. Right. Let's not waste any more time. I'm all sorted on the I'm all sorted on the snacks front, folks. So I have my water. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I've um, I've got bev I've got beverages as well. Yes, I am aware it does look like it's partly green screened, but hey, that's the joys of clear plastic bottles. It's inevitable they're going to get green screened out. But nevertheless. At the ready. And yes, I do have an official Xbox controller on me at long last. Right, so here we go. Three, yeah. two, one, and play. So it. John F. Walker. There we go. We're here by scripting your title and authority as Captain yep. America. Effective so just recapping what happened in last week's episode. Yeah. <laughs> You want to climb out of that hill and do the work. And he does have a point on that one. So you really going to Isaiah Brack and get in your head? I was in his shoes, I'd probably feel the exact same way. But what would be the point of all the pain and sacrifice? What's in the box? I, I want to know what's it. Well, I, no, never mind. Box. What's in the case? I want to know what's in the case. <laughs> what's in the box? <laughs> <laughs> Brad Pitt, eat your heart out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Last time I'm gonna do this to bloom in June. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because because we've got Loki coming. Uh, but uh, rest assured, next week, folks, we are gonna have the review of the new Mortal Kombat movie, which came out yesterday. We are gonna have a review of that for you guys. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> joy, <laughs> all right, joy, the joys, the joys of VPNs being able to. Being able to use VPNs to use services like HBO Max, even though we're not in the US, but yeah. So we're jumping straight in with the flag smashes. Here we go. I, mean, I will say this overall, as far as the TV series that they've done so far for the MCU, they've done incredibly well. They've done good, yeah. It finally got good with this one. It, it took it a while for me, anyway. But like, it got yeah. Finally. I'm all for the last episode, man. I'm all for the hype. <laughs> Hello. Sergeant Bond? When did he get the sergeant title? Unless he kept it from oh, elsewhere. Yeah. Wait, I'm just gonna have to like. Whoa, oh, hello. Just pause it for a sec. Sorry. Time What's your time? Two, time stamp two fifty three. That two, was a pretty cool effect, though. Yeah. I'm two forty three, two forty four, two forty five, two forty six. Two points. Oh. oh, it's Sharon. Sharon, what the hell are you doing there? Two fifty-three. Okay, are right, you ready? <laughs> Sorry. There oh. we go. Oh, uh, oh. I wish Disney Plus had the thing because I have to have subtitles. But like, whenever you like click it, it doesn't pop up. You have to come off it and then come back on. My timestamps: three o six, three o seven, three o eight, three o nine, three ten. Yeah. Do it Do it now. 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 He must have kept the um, he must have kept the sergeant title from elsewhere. Yeah, probably. Was that Bucky? 
Yeah, Sergeant Barnes. He must have kept the Sergeant title from somewhere. Unless they've become like the two Avengers, like the not Ooh, two Avengers. Oh, there it is. Oh, yes! That's awesome. That is awesome. Oh, that suit looks glorious. That's straight out of the comic. Oh. I'm Captain America. Oh yeah, baby, let's go. Ouch. He looks awesome. Okay, that, that is the best Sam has looked since he came into the MCU. Yes. Oh, that is awesome. There's one of them. Don't get to the head down the east level. Sam looks so awesome as Captain America. That suit is, oh, that suit's good. The thing is, that is literally like straight out of the comics. Like, this. I don't yeah. know if they will fit in any way. It looks like it's straight out. Straight off the page. Ooh. There we go. Done this before, kid. It doesn't matter if I don't survive this. I'm fine if it's something bigger than myself. I don't know why you're so connected. Have you ever been able to say the same? You know, to battle talk for something bigger than myself. Wow. That's all I ever tried to do. So, twice. sort of like an anti flag smasher, if you will. Yeah. Oh, he's finally got redemption. Yep. Yes. Okay. I, I did have a look at the runtime, and it's only going to be like 50 minutes. I, I was really hoping it was going to be a full hour. No, I think it was a good amount of time. So, think about it. Yeah, about, must be about 51 ish minutes. Yeah. Was that, was, I was up. Well, see, I was hoping it was going to be a full hour, but hey-ho. These just under, it's like under 55 minutes. But I, I think that's still a good one thing. Yeah. Mind you, take off seven minutes of credits. <laughs> that's, that's true. And, uh, and, and we're talking, uh, and, then, and then another couple of minutes away from that, uh, and that's like all the like uh, French credits, German credits, Japanese credits, etc. cetera. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. His suit looks so good. Yeah. I'm doing this. Okay. I'm, going down okay. this I'm just going to get this out of the way right now, folks. Um, over the course of the next week, it's going to be film reviews over the course of the next week before getting back into Formula One stuff with uh, Portugal uh, next week. So... Uh, I've I've got I've got a I've got a list of films in the pipeline ready to go, and like I said, one of them next week. Dan's going to be watching it with me. Uh, that we're going to be doing the new Mortal Kombat film. I'm really excited for it. Yeah. <laughs> one job, Bucky. <laughs> Hmm. Here we go. Oh. 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 Oh my. I know. Sorry, Mercury. Damn. Yeah. No wonder, no wonder you got burnt so badly. I was like, yeah. no, no, actually, never mind. Burn that, that, that probably had an acidic effect. Oh, definitely. Oh. 
Sam, oh, yes. Oh, 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 oh. yes. Oh, that's what I don't know. It's so cool. Oh, the way the so shield cool. was spinning in the air, though. Yeah. Like, literally jumped out and flew it and caught it. I was like, yes, he is properly jumped to the back. Yeah. Oh, it's good to see. I can't wait or, to see the Avengers. Or, dare I say, Captain Falcon. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Falcon Punch. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I can't wait to see him in the new Avengers. Oh, it's going to be so good. Yeah. I'll say, I'll say, that, I'll say that suit is easily the best. It's the best he's looked since he came in. See, with these new series, they've gotten the costumes down well. Yeah. They're... Like, Wanda's costume and they've, like, Captain oh, America's. Wanda in that season finale, though. Oh. Oh, yeah. Wow. This started off pretty well. I'm happy with the way it started. That's yeah. exactly what I wanted. Just get kicked in, boom, get new Captain America out there. Yeah. Sorted. Most considering we killed the hostages. I think that's what I said in last. I think that's what I said after last week's episode. I was like, I just want to fill that episode where it is Captain America. Marvel. Yeah, and Thank there you, you go. Appreciate it. So appreciate it. So thanks, Kevin Feige. <laughs> appreciate it, dude. This is interesting. It's like she's work it's like she's working both sides of the coin. Yeah, it's all good. Isn't it? I've missed seeing fight scenes in New York. Yeah. Like in, the, in the Marvel universe. I've missed it. I mean I mean, granted, we haven't technically had one since, but End game. I don't think they fought in, in New York in End Game. I don't think it was New York. No, um, oh no, I'm, oh no, a bit. Uh, I was like, the reason I'm saying New York in End Game because of the whole time travel thing. Yeah, good point. Actually, yeah. There it's we like go. Going back to the yeah. Avengers. Yeah, I say, I say they didn't, they didn't have like, they didn't have a, they didn't have a fight sequence in uh, New York in Far From Home, but I say they yeah. had, it, they had it in like Venice, London. Yeah. They, Ah, uh, yeah, Infinity War as well. Like that was the last time there was yeah. a fight in New York as well. That was really cool to see where Falcon like flew in and everybody's clapping for him <laughs> as the captain, as the new Captain America. Yeah, love that. Oh, trailer shot! <laughs> Whoa, trailer shot! <laughs> What's it? Did they seriously just use a? You you know that you know that cartoon noise when someone gets hit with a frying pan. Yeah, Did I they think seriously that was just like, use that for ripping the door open? I think that was briefly used, yeah. Oh, okay. Whoa, okay. Let's go, Bucky. All I want now is US agent with his new costume. Oh, like new the, and, and that just... I, I want to see the black... Down. I want to see the black and red costume now. I just want to see him, like... Yeah, that, that will that, be happy. That will just complete the set. <laughs> Definitely. There's no way he's going to die in this episode because he's got a long future ahead of like yeah. being US agent. So like, he, he won't die in this episode. Yeah. I don't think. yeah, which begs the question, how are they going to incorporate him into the movies? I think he's going to... I think he'll join the Thunderbolts. Interesting. So he will. Or become a member of the Dark Avengers. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh okay. Oh, he's, oh, he's kept his... He's, he's kept his... Wait, hang on a sec, because he made his own shield. That's my fight. I just want the people on that truck. Whoa! That's cool. Damn! 
That was cool. Here we go. Don Bucky. Oh. Yes! He's a proper Avenger. Not that he wasn't. <laughs> Oh, oh, that was good. It's like, thank you for saving us to Bucky, because Bucky's not had a proper thanks. And yeah. I don't think he's ever had a proper thanks. He's always just been told you're a fugitive. You're an ex yeah. 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 First, first time for everything, eh? That was cool. It's nice to see. Oh. Oh. Superior or armed. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. There he is. There's the boy. There he is. That's my boy. Let's go, Sam. Put in your earbuds. <laughs> I see, he's using the shield well. Oh. That went well. Yep. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> oh, yeah! Let's go, baby! Four, three. Nice. Oh, what? <laughs> that was cool. These are the sort of moments that help people understand why we are fans of these characters. That's true, yeah. That was cool. That was good. I like that. that. Sorry, but the shield looks so trash. Obviously, because it's not made out of vibranium, like, it's made of like He's just made it out yeah. of metal, essentially. But that shield's... Oh, it's not good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's cool, man. I mean, she's a complex character to understand because you've, because like I say, you've got both yeah. sides of the coin there working for the flag smashers, but at the same time, helping Sam and Bucky. Yeah. No, definitely. I really hope we see more of Carly in the MCU at some point. Yeah. Uh -oh. I don't know if she will make it after this series. Like, I'm not too sure if she's going to make it past this episode. Maybe she will. Maybe she'll just like go on like, start and watch. Oh. Told you it was trash. <laughs> Take out the trash. Damn, John! Oh, oh he's open. Oh. 
on another superhero landing. Yep. Oh, this is not going to end well. At least you tried to help. Yeah. Okay. See, that's him becoming like US agent. That's him becoming. US agents are very. Sam, the man! There he is. There he is. This is cool. This is some, there's some really good shots. Oh, just. Oh, oh yeah, that's the first reaction to seeing him as I Captain mean, America. I mean, dare, dare I say, you could easily combine all these episodes and make it into one big movie. Oh yeah, you could easily. And and, like... and and hey, I wouldn't be compl- I wouldn't complain. I'd happily have a four or five hour film in the MCU. <laughs> yes. I love how he's like, that's the Black Falcon. There, he's like, nah, that's Captain America. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Finally, see, this is what I wanted for the uh, entire show. Whoa, hello. If I've had to go through multiple episodes to get this to this, I'm happy. Oh. So far, I'm really happy with this. The slow burn approach is paying off for these TV series. Oh, yeah, definitely. Trying something different. Maybe you should definitely. Oh. <laughs> oh. This is going to be Zemo. Oh, no, it's uh, Bartok. The Batrock? The dude from the Winter Soldier. <laughs> Follow Captain America. <laughs> I'm really happy he's finally become Captain America. This is what I yeah. wanted from, like, this is what I wanted from Falcon as Captain America. I mean, granted, we had to wait like two years for it to happen after he got handed yeah. shield at the end of Endgame, but yeah, true. And, and, that's, huh. and, that's, and that's despite the pandemic, folks, but hot damn, the wait was worth it. The one thing that I love about him, though, is he's not got any super soldier setting. He's just a normal guy with wings, yeah. but he is Captain America. He's got the heart of Captain America without the super soldier setting because he doesn't need it. He... Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's a good shot. shot. That nice is nice shot. Some nice shots in this. I love it. Cinematography Marvel, you are absolutely good. spoiling us today. <laughs> it's good. I'm liking it so far. We're only, what, 15, 20 minutes in? <laughs> yeah, we're about 20 minutes in. Yeah, I, I am so glad I stocked up on snacks for this because, oh. oh, yeah. If oh, anything, it just make dare I say, it makes the snacks taste even better. <laughs> Like, I need to get like, food, David. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'll go wait for after the episode. Like, like seeing your favorite teams, like seeing your favorite team in a, like seeing your favorite team score in a, in a football match. Yeah. And t- taking a swig of your beverage, and the beverage just tastes that much better, knowing that your team scored. Yeah. Give you an opportunity. Oh. Then you betrayed me because you wanted to control the world that hurt you. Yeah, she's a power broker. I see. I, I think I said that it was going to be Sharon or something. I had a feeling. Ooh. Was there something like with her eyes? Like, did she have? I was going to say, is this trying to lead into serpent society? Oh! oh! I feel like this is trying to lead into Serpent Society. Carly just shot the power broker. Damn. Yeah. Namaste, Namaste, so what's the next one? Oh, no. 
Where does it end? Please, let me help you. Oh no. <laughs> Hmm. Don't think you got much of a choice in the matter, Sam. That was cool. This is so cool. Oh, the... Ooh. No. I love the new Captain America. He's so cool. Stay down. No. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. That, that, that's his way of paying homage to I can do this all day. Yeah, literally. Because I mean, because I mean, that's Cap's thing. Just does not stay down, no matter how yeah. much of a beating he takes. Oh yeah, no, definitely. And that's one, of, and that's one of the biggest reasons why Cap is my like Steve Rogers. Cap is my favorite yeah. Avenger, because like me, yeah, like, like him, I'm a tough guy to keep down. Doesn't matter. I mean, yes, doesn't matter how long it takes me. I always find a way to get back on my feet and keep moving forward. Yeah. Oh, imagine if I could, if I could get a Cap, if I could get a Captain America cosplay put together. That, yeah, definitely. I love that costume so much. How cool would it be to be able to make that with the oh, no, shield? Definitely. definitely. I guarantee the cosplays will start coming in for it. But I doubt. Oh, definitely. You're going to have people as <laughs> like... Oh, yeah. Damn! You're going to have people as this... Uh, Sam Cap, you're going to have people as US Agent, you're going to have people as like Scarlet Witch people as Vision once the yeah. Comic Con once Comic-Con gets back up and running you're going to see a lot of that I really want to do US Agent <laughs> oh. I'd love to do I'd love to like do the US Agent uh, cosplay so I would, that'd be cool I knew it. I knew she would make it past it. I said that. I said that twenty minutes ago. I was yeah. like, I don't think she's gonna make it past this episode. <laughs> Maybe she would. <laughs> oh, dear. Wow. You know, the worst thing is Sam's not gonna know about Sharon being the Barrow bar bar broker. He's not gonna know unless somebody else tells her. <laughs> No, that's gonna work though because she's killed by Tron and that, and they're the only two people that no, because like she's people that's working for her, so that is such a nice shot. That is such a good shot. Wait. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was already confirmed at this I'm, I'm pretty sure it was already confirmed by this point but I'm pretty sure Carly must have been the leader with the Flag Smashers. She must have been. Oh yeah, I think she was the leader of the Flag Smashers. Is it still Falcon? Is it Captain Falcon? Sincerely, you did your part in dealing with those terrorists that were the hours. Are you still going forward with resetting the borders? Our peacekeeping troops will begin relocating people soon. The terrorists only set us back a bit can't stop calling them terrorists. Why else would we call them? You're peacekeeping troops carrying weapons that are forcing millions of people into settlements around the world, right? What do you think those people are going to call you? He even sings like Captain America. Damn! UG thug. They're often used to get around the question why. Those settlements that happened five years ago, do you think it is fair? for government to have to support them. Yes, and the people who reappeared only to find someone else living in their family home. They just end up homeless. Look, I get it, but you have no idea how complicated this situation is. Oh, trust me, Sam does, because Sam was affected by the snap. <coughs> yeah. We finally had 
a common struggle now. Think about that. For once, all the people who've been begging, and I mean literally begging for you to feel how hard any given day is, now you know. How did it feel to be helpless? Now, if you could remember what it was like to be helpless and face a force so powerful it could erase half the planet, you would know that you're about to have the exact same impact. This isn't about easy decisions, Senator. You just don't understand. I'm a black man carrying the stars and stripes. What don't I understand? Every time I pick this thing up, I know there are millions of people out there who are gonna hate me for it. Even now, here, I fear it. The stairs, the judgment, and there's nothing I can do to change it. And bringing the social commentary into this. No super sad, no blonde hair, no blue eyes. The only power I have is that I believe we can do better. We can't demand that people step up and we don't meet them halfway. You control the banks. Shit, you can move boards. Even even the even the even the Air Force are watching this. Oh. Who's in the room with you when you're making those decisions? Is it the people you're gonna impact? Or is it just more people like you? I mean, this girl died trying to stop you. And no one has stopped for one second to ask why. You've got to do better, Senator. You've got to step up. Because if you don't, the next Carly will. And you don't want to see 2.0. People believed in her cause so much that they helped her defy the strongest governments in the world. Why do you think that is? A few people have just as much power as an insane god or misguided teenager. The question you have to ask yourself is, how are you going to use it? Mm-hmm. Whoever wrote this episode. Yes, 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 yes. Whoever wrote this episode. Oh. I, uh, that, Where do they get such good screenwriters? Uh, that was good. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, who's cutting onions in here? Hey, so the worst thing that's happened in a week. Told you. Uh, yeah. What's happening to you? <laughs> Look, I'm sorry for how things ended down there. Sharon, you're sneaky. Well, you're right. sneaky. So it looks good on you. <laughs> hey, Doc, the suit looks awesome. Like, yeah. I, I love it, genuinely. I didn't forget my promise. I think I love it more than w- w- Scarlet Witches. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean. Don't get me wrong. Scarlet Witches costume looks absolutely fantastic. Oh yeah. But- I actually have the very first issue where Falcon becomes Captain America. It's so, like after this episode, I'm gonna guess like I can show people Sh- exactly. You, how you it can show them the cover. Yeah. No, I need to like look in my comic book box. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'll find it just so you can see how uh, accurate it is because it's um, it's good. I mean, just I mean, the possibilities that the MCU has opened up are just limitless now. Oh, I can't wait for the new Avengers now. I'm really excited to see what happens. Whoa! Where is Zemo? What the frick? Oh, the raft. We're going there. We're going to the raft. Oh, we haven't been here since Civil War. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah, he got arrested, of course. Yeah, well, he got arrested in the last couple of episodes.
There's an after credit scene, by the way, apparently, but yeah. I'm not surprised. Well, it, it's Marvel. It's to be expected. Oh, yeah. Our friend Zemo kind of got the last laugh, right? Wow. Couldn't have worked better if I planned it. I did a bit of research, and apparently she's assembling the Hydra version of S.H.I.E.L.D. No, I'm kidding. I just... I, I kid, her character's quite a big character, apparently. Because I wasn't too sure who she was, but like looked up and it's. I would love to see that tie into the films in some capacity. Well, in like the multiverse or in like a separate run, there was like a run called Separate Society. Where you had Captain Hydra, who was Steve Rogers, brainwashed by Hydra, who became oh. Captain Hydra. <laughs> Rather than stars and stripes, he's got the Hydra symbol on the chest and like yeah. the shield. But. Now, this is That's a new costume. Oh, wow! I love it. Oh, oh. That is I mean, never, never mind the screenwriter. The costume designers as well. Wait, wait. We're going to need... Yes! Yes, way. she said it! <laughs> Actually, we'll do that. Don't call me that. Copy. Thank you. That does. That, that, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Albeit as US agent, but always oh, a happy man. As, as much as people hate his character, I love it. I think he's great. Oh, I was like, Wyatt Russell has done an incredible job with John Walker. I think he's going to become a member of the Thunderbolts, I'm pretty sure. I think he becomes a member of the Thunderbolts. So you've got like General Ross who becomes Red Hulk. Um, I've got a feeling Yelena is going to be the new Black Widow in the Black Widow movie. Hmm. I'm very much um, looking forward to that beginning of July. Basically, I think the after credit scene is going to be General Ross assembling the Thunderbolts with Taskmaster. Taskmaster. I think Yelena or Florence Pugh is going to become like not evil Black Widow, but I think she's going to become Black Widow for like Thunderbolts. And um, he's going to say, oh, um, we need to assemble our, our own sort of like team of Avengers or whatnot. And it'll be like the like villain sort of based on, not Dark yeah. Avengers, but like Roman Osborn as Iron Patriot, but like, yeah, Red Hulk and Taskmaster and US Agent, I think. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. He's... He's he's, told he's, he's, he's he's come clean. He's, he's come clean. Oh, man. Well, he did what Sam said, where he said, just go and speak to people and tell them yeah. you're sorry. Hello. I feel like Bucky's transfer. Bucky's has the most character development. I mean, just in this series yeah. alone. Oh yeah, definitely. Same with Falcon, though. But like, I think Bucky's the one that's had the most. Like, he's had yeah. like character development all the way from, like, from 2014 properly. From, from Winter Soldier. Yeah, that's seven years. I'm pretty sure. Seven years. Yeah. Like literally seven years. I think he's literally had the biggest character development. Yeah. Oh. oh, oh. Wait, did she know or has he not told her? Incredible, absolutely incredible. Good. This has been a really good episode. Yeah. Oh. Oh. But it's still black. I saw what you did out there. I've seen this over everyone else. Hmm. I heard the GRC 
I ain't gonna lie. You're special. Thank you. I mean, you weren't a Malcolm Martin. Man, no, no argument there. <laughs> but I know what I've got to do. So, Black Captain America, huh? Damn right. The fight you take it on ain't gonna be easy, Sam. Yeah, I might fail. Shit, I might die. But we built this country. Fight for it. I'm not gonna let anybody tell me I can't fight for it. Not after what everybody before me went through, including you. Shit. I almost want that. Man, do you ever like that? Huh. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why don't you clean up? There's um, something I want to show you. So, uh, where are we going? <laughs> My response to that would be just wherever the road takes us. Yeah. I'm praying he's managed to get, like, him put in the Captain America memorial. That would be amazing. Oh, if he has, then... Like, him as, like, the original Captain America or, like, another yeah. sort of thing, Captain America. Oh, oh. We've done it. I think he has. I think he has. Ah, oh, no way. Maybe it's always been there. Yeah. No, they'll never forget. Oh, no, it did. He he, he must he must have done that just recently. He must have done. That's cool, man. That is that is cool. That is, that that's really cool. And you can actually see that he's actually shaking. At Literally, just how much this means to him. It's a good payoff. It's a really good payoff. Yeah. I mean I mean I mean don't get me wrong amongst all the action those sort of moments I love seeing in some ways more than the action itself. Oh yeah, no, definitely. Because 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 it's moments like that that help build characters to an even deeper level. Yeah. Fuck. Oh. oh. Yes. Captain oh. America the Winter Soldier. Brilliant. Oh. Wow. We've got an after credit scene coming up. Malcolm Spellman and Joseph Sawyer. That was good. That, that was good. That those those are the guys you gotta thank for the for this for the script on that one. The be, yeah, the best bit of this episode was definitely the writing. Oh, yeah. The writing for this episode was That's, great. That speech from Sam. Good. That was really good. That's what I've wanted throughout this entire like series is that literally that one episode. Yeah. And 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 we got that and more. Yeah. Also, the music, the credit music is completely different because it used to be like the it used to it used to be the theme for the series. It's ended off on a happy note, which is great. Like yeah, awesome. And now it's Captain America and the Winter Soldier. 
It's almost like it's taking the title of Captain America, the Winter Soldier, like the movie, but it's yeah. like redoing it, sort of, if that makes sense. My, like, Michael yeah. Crow, you absolute legend with that yeah. new costume for Sam. That was cool. That was good. I was like, I'm, I was like, I'm, I'm always, I'm always going to enjoy Henry Jackman's music. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm excited to see what goes forward with Captain America now. Yeah. And USA, I'm looking forward to seeing like. Yeah. Because I. Become as I mean, USA I mean, yes. Dis despite the initial backlash, right at the end of the first episode, and that was yeah. like six weeks ago. Despite, yeah. despite that backlash, White oh, yeah, Russell no. did a fantastic job. He's done an incredible job with this show, genuinely. To get yeah. people to hate him that much like he's doing his job right like <laughs> yeah That's and there it is the united states intelligence community would like to offer you and your family our sincerest apologies the current name has always been synonymous with service trust uh, <laughs> Hello. you begin to repay some of the debt that is owed to you thank you senator no i can hear those words for a long time We'd like to offer you a full pardon. There may be an opening in your old division. Oh no. Is that something you'd be interested in? Oh no. It would be my honor. Oh no. Uh oh. Home agent Carter. Oh what? no. What? <laughs> what? I thought that was going to be. I thought that was going to be where they cut. Finding out the wires. Super soldiers might be off the menu, but we're about to have full access to government secrets, prototype weapons, you name it. Should be something for everyone. She's the new Agent Carter. She's the new Agent Carter. God damn! Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> no! Oh no! That's not good. So that it sounds like they're doing separate society, which is essentially the Hydra version of Shield. It's like when Hydra took over Shield in like the Winter Soldier. It sounds like they're doing that, but going all out on it and actually bringing Hydra back, like properly. Yeah. And that might, I feel like that's a little lead up to Armor Wars. Well, I, I think, feel like that. Because she's like, we're going to have government weapons, we're going to have prototypes. Uh, and Armor Wars, the whole thing about that is like, what happens when like Tony Stark's armor falls into the wrong hands? Yeah. Tony Stark's weapon falls into the wrong hands. So I feel like that is a tease for like Armor Wars, because that's going to be strictly like War Machines series, uh, which I'm, I'm excited about. Oh, oh, yeah, Rhodey, yeah. It's going to be like how he's dealing with like, Taking over like Tommy's tech and all that jazz, but yeah. I've got a feeling Sharon's gonna be the villain of that now. So, and they're gonna, I want them to do Captain Hydra. I want like, I want the multiverse to open up. So, I do like with Doctor Strange in the multiverse of madness, I want like Captain Hydra, like Chris Evans to come back and play As, Captain uh, Hydra. Oh, that, that would be cool because in the comics, it's still Steve Rogers, but it's like. It's like a separate timeline, so I'd love yeah. that. I'm here to meet Sharon Carter, and, he, and like Sharon to turn around and say, "Yeah, mm -hmm. you're not going back to your timeline. You're staying here. You're the next Captain Hydra." <laughs> like, and it's like literally Chris Evans, and he's like, "Hail Hydra!" Literally says that. Oh, but like, that would be glorious. Because it was kind of teased in Endgame, although it was like a little nod. It's like where Steve Rogers goes, "Hail Hydra!" He does that in the comics, and that was a huge moment. So it was, I think it yeah. came in 2017, but it's like um, when you heard like Captain America for the first time say "Hail Hydra," everybody reading it was like, "Wait, what, what the like, hell?" That's not happened before. So, like, I've got a feeling I'd love for that to happen. I really yeah. want um, Chris Evans to come back and play Captain Hydra, not Captain America, but like, yeah, yeah. Right here we go. Do That'd we have cool. a second? Do we have a second credit? I don't think we do. I think it's just a one. 
No, nah, just the one. Wow. So, there we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that was great. So that wow. Was great. So there we go. We've got we've got a new Agent Carter, folks. That's No, that's not a good thing. <laughs> that's not a good thing. Oh, dear. She's, yeah, she's officially like Madame Hydra. Well, I don't know if they've yeah. given, I don't know if she's Madame Hydra or the one that's working with US Agent is Madame Hydra, but I think <laughs> they might make Sharon uh, Madame Hydra. Because in the comics, there's like, uh, there's like Madame yeah. Hydra, um, who like leads yeah. the like Hydra yeah. version of the shield. So, yeah. Oh dear. Yeah. But over, overall, yeah. folks, what an ending to a fantastic series. Yeah, that was good. That was really good. I yeah. enjoyed that. Good. Yeah. Definitely. I, mean, I mean, that easily is the best series finale. I mean, I know, I know it's only like the second series, but that is easily the best TV episode that the MCU has made so far. Easily. It's tough between the finale of One Division and that, but that was really good. I yeah. really enjoyed. It. I think I preferred the. I think I preferred the last episode of this to One Divisions. I did genuinely yeah. do. That was definitely the best episode out of the whole series. Yeah. So it was, don't get me wrong. The finale of One Division is still amazing, but there were like yeah. so many things where, like, there were so many things that were resolved and wrapped up, and like everything just made me happy in that episode. Yeah. Like, seeing, Isaiah, seeing Isaiah Bradley's statue as well, like. In the Captain America, oh, movie. yeah, that was cool. Um, that whole speech that, like, oh, the Captain America did that, that was cool. That really brought a tear to my eye. Yeah, that, that, that speech is good. That speech is definitely going to be up there as one of the best moments in the whole of the MCU, and that's including the films, folks. Yeah, like, that's that's exactly how I wanted like Falcon to become Captain America, and he even sounded like Captain America as well. I mean, he had yeah, like the. Yeah, that yeah, that like that yes. speech, and I was just like, "You listen, you listen, you go back and listen to that speech again, and you tell us, you tell us that you are not paying attention to every word Sam is saying." Oh yeah, no, nah, that was that was really good. I really I really enjoyed that. I think that was one of the best scenes. However, also one of the best openings of like the show. Like, kicks oh in. yeah. Boom. Don't even get a like him looking and it's you found out what's in the box. It's like no, straight up he's just like straight up there. He's already he's already in the get up. Captain America, superhero yeah. land. Just, oh, like, but bloody here. hell, that suit looks absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Two seconds actually. I'll find the comics. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, that suit, folks, looks absolutely gorgeous. Actually, coming to think of it, um. Oh, come on. Come on, don't let me down. Don't let me down. Uh, well, that's... I don't think... Uh, I, don't, I don't think they've... It doesn't look like they've made that... Uh, they have, it doesn't look like they've made that Captain America suit yet. Because, because as far as looking, I'm, I'm looking at Captain America suits right now, and all I'm seeing is like stuff for like the the Steve Rogers ones. Oh no, only if you think, oh my god, that is actually that's actually not a bad price for that. Hundred and thirty quid, and that's and that's without taking delivery into account. About hundred and thirty quid for an for an for a replica. For a replica of the quantum realm, so like an ab, like a, an absolute replica. Oh, that is definitely not bad. Right, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, I was 
up, I found it. Yeah. So it's that there, literally. First issue. So <laughs> that's how it looked exactly in the comics. Wow. It's honestly it's perfect, so it is. That's it. Even the goggles, like the yeah, like if you look mm-hmm. right there. Yeah. It's oh, that's that's it. perfect. <laughs> I say, uh, I say, I haven't, I haven't had a chat. I say, as I was, I was just saying to the viewers. Uh, I, say, I, I tried looking for the uh, for uh, for Sam's Captain America suit. Uh, no, there's like nothing as of yet, but yeah, I would imagine once once they start putting it into production, there'll be companies like Pro Cosplay or like even um, I think there's like White Sheep Clothing or something like that. There's a company right. that deals with it. Right. UD replicas as well. They might make the actual like jacket and they're like. Trousers, they do like yeah. they do like motorbike suits, and I've got a feeling they'll do a they'll they'll do character. one they'll do one that they'll do a motorbike suit similar to the one that Bucky's got. Yeah, uh, no, definitely. Um, yeah, without a doubt, it's going to be made. People are going to be making that because that is a cool suit. So it's, yeah. even the comic is a really cool suit. So, it's, so yeah. yeah, I was like, I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm actually look, I'm, I was like, I'm actually looking at the uh, the replica. Uh, Steve Rogers Quantum Realm suit from Endgame. Oh yeah, uh, and it's, it's. I mean, it's not. It's not a bad price. It's like it's like it's about two hundred about two hundred twenty US dollars. That's about that's about standard roughly. So it's yeah. like which which, which isn't bad. Which isn't bad. I, yeah, like, I, I would I would love to get myself a cosplay like that for Comic Con. Yeah. Oh no, definitely. I really want the shield. There's like the Marvel Legends. Who, who freaking shield. doesn't? It's about, it's about hundred pounds, so it is, but it's like a proper like replica of it. It's like oh. the Marvel Legend that did so, like the Infinity Gauntlet and um, the Nano. So, so, that, so that would so that would be somewhere in. Problem. So so if I was to get so if I was to get that replica suit plus the shield, that, I'm probably looking somewhere in the region of about three hundred quid. Roughly, yeah, but like, but hey, it would be freaking oh. worth it though. Yeah, for me, I'm gonna start like three different in my own Iron Man suit. I'm gonna like three different like all sorts of so, yeah. not even trying three D print like Bucky's arm or three D print my own shield, which would be sweet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's so many ideas. Yeah. So there we go. Uh, but yeah, that that's it for uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier, or should I say, Captain America and the Winter Soldier? Now, <laughs> yeah, I'm, but, I'm looking uh, forward to the future of uh, the MCU now. Yeah, um, yeah. With, like it. where Captain America goes. Yeah, so we have we haven't got anything until June now, folks, uh, with with the Loki series, and then uh, beginning of, yeah, beginning of beginning of, Jul- beginning of July for Black Widow. Actually, yeah, actually, cool. actually, I need. I say. Just double check. I'm just gonna double check the release date. Yeah, July 9th. Yeah, mm-hmm. July 9th. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So we've, so we've got nothing. Into, we've, we haven't got anything Marvel related until June with uh, the Loki series. I was like, that is gonna be fun to see Tom Hiddleston back in action. And then July 9th, we've got Black Widow coming out. And by that point, cinemas should be open. And, and you can yeah. guarantee I'm gonna be there, whether it's midnight screening or opening day. I'm gonna be yeah. there. But, uh, but uh, yeah, um, so what we so I've mentioned it a couple of times uh, earlier. I'm going to say it again. Uh, next week, you're going to get to see the, you're going to get to see our thoughts on the new Mortal Kombat movie, which just released in the oh, UK. Yeah. Uh, well, we just, just released yesterday. Now, it doesn't have an official UK release date at the moment. But, uh, yeah. but, that's, but that's the joys of uh, using VPNs to be able to use services like HBO Max for um uh for this sort of thing but uh yeah. rest assured rest assured uh me and dan are going to find some time during the week to watch yeah, the definitely. film and then we're going to record our th- that we're going to do our thoughts on the yeah. film afterwards because because th- from the trailer alone that's the sort that's the sort of um that's the sort of uh, brutality that i'm expecting from the film See a couple of clips of it. Looks good. Looks promising. Yeah. I say the first Fingers seven. Crossed. The first seven minutes of the film mm-hmm. are actually online right now. But I'm but I'm avoiding all that until I actually watch the film itself. I've seen the first seven minutes. I actually I watched the clip. Um, uh-huh. Pretty good. So it was a, it was pretty good. It was pretty cool opening. So it was, um, I won't spoil yeah. anything. Pretty good. Yeah. That's it. 
Uh, the only other thing I ask of them is that they keep the they keep the Mortal Kombat theme they used from the '95 film. Mm-hmm. I really hope they do that. Yeah, or, 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 or at the very least, uh, like have um, have like uh, a modern update on it. Yeah, fingers crossed. Hopefully, there'll be like a bit of a modern update. Definitely. So, all that's left for me to do is put those in there, put that in there, and then just get a list put together. Bear with me, folks. Because, uh, da, 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 da. oh, hold up. careful, bear with me. Right, so what do we have? There we go. I've got 11 films on my laptop ready to go. So that'll already fill up a top 10 list with one honorable yeah. mention. <laughs> so, <That's a> <laughs> yeah. No, I definitely not. Right, so, so I just need to get the titles typed up. Because because what I'm going to be doing very shortly, folks, is I'm going to be doing like a draw, like, like, like a randomizer, if you will. Mm. And what I'm going to be doing there is I'm, it's going to be luck of the draw on what film I review first from... Yeah this lineup oh yeah because we've got godzilla versus kong oh yes oh there's a lot of films actually godzilla versus kong Mortal Kombat. uh, uh judas and the black uh, messiah that's up for a number of awards during the oscars which are this weekend actually folks are the oscars still going ahead they're still going ahead are they yep. i thought it would have been cancelled because well, was... we'll say we'll say that uh they, they were they were they were actually delayed Ah, uh, oh, fair enough. Um, I'd recommend adding Sound of Metal to your playlist, uh, to your list. Sound of Metal is a very good film. Sound of Metal, eh? Uh, is, yeah. is that, uh, does, does that have a 2021 release date? Yes, it's, uh, it came out, well, I'm not too sure if it was, uh, it came out last year or this year. I'm pretty sure it was, I'm pretty sure it was this year. Yeah, yeah, it was this year. Ah, so, um, ah there we go. It, it, Ah, it wouldn't actually it wouldn't actually be eligible because it's uh, oh actually yes it is because I'm of course yeah it yeah. is it Nominated, is, I'm sure. it is eligible <laughs> that film is eligible based on the rules that I've set for like going through my top ten films of the year it yeah. is eligible based on its UK release date May seventeenth it comes out May seventeenth it comes out in the UK so yes I am going to put that on my list. Sound of Metal, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, Sound of Metal's right. already out. Matt. Sound mm-hmm. of Metal's already on Amazon and it's, Prime. And it's on Amazon Prime. Woohoo! It's already on Amazon Prime, definitely. Oh, and, 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 and I've got that second coming to America film as well. I've just realised. Uh, <laughs> so that's what... Oh, so that's what... Thir- that's me now got 13 sorry. films. I'm not going to say anything about coming to America to... I'm not saying anything. Was I can't. Was that, was that, you watch. Just, just watch it. Yeah. Just, just, was that, was that, I'm, I'm going gonna, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to watch the first one so I can get myself up to speed with it. Because uh, I, I know the first one, last time I checked, was on Prime. I know the I'll say the second one is on there. Anyway. But yeah. I, w- I won't say anything about the second one, but... Oh. Right. List oh. randomizer. Oh, no. Right. Here we go. What's the first one? What's the first one? Right. And so, <laughs> so what I'm going to do, folks, bear with me. Uh, where is it? There we go. The first chapter, uh, the first coming to America is great, by the way. It's, uh, it of course. is so good. Yeah. But the second, uh, I'm not going to ruin it or spoil <laughs> it for you. Yeah. But, so, yeah. So, that, so there we go, folks. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm still recording. If, mm-hmm. if not. So there we go. So there we go. That's. That's what I've got, folks. 13 films there. What is going to be my first 2021 film review? Let's hit randomize. And whatever film's at the top of the list is going to be what I review first. And then we'll take it from there. And... Oh! (laughs) Okay, Sound of Metal first. This will be good. 
Just as well you put just as well you put that recommendation in there, otherwise it would have been Raya and the oh, Last yeah. Dragon. But hey, I'm not yeah. complaining. I say I've got 13 Good. films to keep me occupied over the next couple of weeks. Oh yes, yeah. I'm looking forward to this. But I say rest assured, folks, one of the reviews next week will be the new Mortal Kombat film, which came out yesterday. But in the meantime, I'm gonna stop screen sharing now. There we go. So Hope you guys enjoyed our reactions to the series finale of uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier. If you did, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to be Dream Chasers like us, hit the subscribe button down at the bottom. Click the bell to join the Dream Chasers notification squad so you don't miss anything that I do on this channel. It's film reviews all the way throughout the next week. And I've, got, I've, also, got, I've also got a couple of videos already scheduled for going live on my channel. I've got my 200 subscribers special plus the latest episode of Kingdom of Isolation as well, where we talk about Sword and Stone. And then after that, it's film reviews all the way next week. But until then, we will see you guys next time. Excelsior. <laughs> <laughs>